Good morning. Is it morning? I think it is. Emma's just left. I started doing my emails really early. I started work at like... I wanna say eight, half seven. I don't know. Um, so now I'm just settling down with a coffee at the actual table. She got me the beautiful, most beautiful flowers. She combined some roses. No, she combined some tulips and these amazing daffs in my <laughs> broken vase. <laughs> but yeah, can't wait for them to come out. Daffodils are one of my favorites. So I've got, <laughs> this is my breakfast just on the table, um, some, if you haven't had this, Kalamata sourdough from Co-op. It's amazing. Uh, and I've got it with cream cheese and got cracked black pepper on it. Mmm. It's just started raining. Um, oh, I started early. I haven't even got into this. I started early because I'm leaving early today and I'm having a girl date with Maggie somewhere I haven't been in 20 years that's literally 20 minutes up the road from me. So I'm very excited about that. I'm also gonna have a club because I've still got one of the original clubs left from like three weeks ago. I don't know how. I just saw it poking out of the cupboard. It's because I hide things. And then I'm like, oh yeah, pass Lauren. Cheers to that. So yeah, I'm gonna get on with my emails, finish what I've got to do. I'm still wearing my freaking hair dyeing top with all of the um, dye over it. And then we're gonna go, go, go. <laughs> Why, hello there. Is it a bit bowed? Hmm. It's makeup time. What time is it? It's 2.46 p.m. Oh, okay. Three minute timer. Should we see what we can do in three, three minutes? One thing I do want to do this weekend is to uh, clean my makeup brushes because these are well overdue. I get a lot of comments on here saying that my videos remind people of like old old school YouTube. And I was thinking earlier, maybe I could like get some old like tags <laughs> that people used to do and like do them. Um, like for instance, they, they can you remember the minute makeup challenge? That was just ridiculous. Or the no mirror makeup challenge. Fun story. I once filmed that no makeup, no make mirror makeup challenge with somebody. And then when we got to the reveal, my, my makeup looked too normal and they made me make mine look worse for the reveal on the camera. Like added a few bits of extra rubbish. <laughs> so that they didn't look as bad, which wasn't even a bad, it was the point of the, it was the point of the video. Yeah. Not everything you see on YouTube is real. Okay, was I just gonna use, did I bring that over? Yeah, I've got my OG Primark palette. I'm talking away and doing this like I've got loads of time. This blush is normally co nearly completely gone. Need to dye my freaking hair. 
as always. Okay. Need to get some, how long's left in the timer? I haven't done my eyebrows. This was a bad mistake. Oh my God, 39 seconds. Stop. That was pretty good. I would just add some powder under my eyes. I'd just add powder wherever I put my concealer. Like that. Then I don't even think I've told you where I'm going, have I? Okay, I need to stop this now. Okay, done. <laughs> Here we have the outfit, shirt, high neck top, baggy jeans, they're crumpled but I don't care, and black trainers. I'm going to wear Scent, lock it down. Eau de Beau, Eau de Bav. Yeah. And let's go. What time is it? It's 27 p.m. Perfecto. <laughs> Just ignore me. Why is it going that way? Wow. Don't worry, I didn't get you in. <laughs> Lovely. We've been to the Natural History Museum to see the animal pictures, as I call them. Wildlife photographer of the year, and it was very good. Apart from all the bits with all the dead animals and the ones being skinned. Apart from that, it was in the pollution. Apart from that, it was great. <laughs> that was so nice. I didn't film in there because I don't know if I'm allowed, but it was so nice just to take like two hours off at work and then go and, why do I have to feel like I have to justify taking time off work? Uh, I think it's because I never show what I do here. So I get comments sometimes like, do you even have a job? So you kind of, yeah, anyway, anyway, it was lovely to see Maggie, my little Maggie, and um, yeah. Oh, we got a lovely selfie. <sighs> selfie or it didn't happen, right? And they've got the massive picture, they've got the massive bones of the blue whale in there, which I'll put a picture on. Lovely. Okay. Oh, I did get a couple of things. I got a book because I wanted to get a new journal. And I thought I'd rather give my money to the Natural History Museum than um, B&M. So I got this cute book. 
and this is trees. It's trees and reeds and leaves and it was stunning. So I got that and then Maggie and I got a couple of postcards. So I'll show you these, I might be cheating, but I got this one won the picture of the year. Um, and it's got little, so there's little um, owls in there. And we watched the, like the video of the story behind it. And that was really nice to learn. It was the, actually that was the young photographer of the year. I think he was like 17. And it shows like our impact on wildlife and how it has to now live with us kind of thing. Then this one was just a turtle trying to, it looks like it's smiling, but it's obviously trying to eat the dragonfly. And I liked it because he's like, Meh! there. And then this one's bat, a bat, but like in different, um, Beside a reservoir in Spain, a sweeping flight path of a mouse-eared bat hunting midges and mosquitoes is captured against the backdrop of multicoloured stars. It was achieved using a 30-second exposure and flash, lighting the bat at various points of its trajectory. Oh, wow! That was... He was 11, and, 11 to 14. So, the, so, so these two were both taken by kids. Amazing. Kids these days, eh? Well... I do love bats. Um, yeah, so I need to go find some food now because I'm freaking hungry and it's half five already. Hey, welcome to Voice Over Lauren. I thought I'd do my voice on this because I just couldn't really be bothered to choose any music and, well, this sky just speaks for itself, doesn't it? It's absolutely amazing. And this footage has been filmed on my new camera as well, which is just blowing my mind. But this is, I think this is Marlebone Way. So yeah, an absolutely beautiful part of London. Look at that little muse there on the on the left, going down. So some little yeah, some little houses. Now we reached Sainsbury's finally, and it looks like the sky's on fire. Um, I thought I'd also do a voiceover for my little trip in Sainsbury's. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw this. They were selling rooted cuttings, seven pounds for this um, uh, Monstera adansonii, and then this one was three cuttings in water for 15 quid are you joking i yeah couldn't believe my eyeballs when i saw that but um yeah so let's also they did so many cactuses cacti cacti and obviously i liked the most vicious looking one so i somebody walked past me so i was trying to play it cool oh let's look over here let's look over here and then go on you know you want to grab it <laughs> Oh, I, yeah, I had to put my fingers on it, didn't it? Didn't I, to see how actually sticky, nope, spiky it was, and it hurt me. So I put it back. Then I thought I'd have a look at the clothes, because I see a lot of people on Instagram talking about the two clothes at Sainsbury's. Most importantly, um, well, Poppy Adams always shops here. I loved this dress, but it was £22, and they didn't have my size. So it kind of seemed like there was a lot of boring stuff, like not a lot of colour. Bearing in mind we're going into spring now. It was just a bit lacklustre. That's a nice blue at the bottom there. But I don't think I stopped to even have a look at that. Um, and obviously I'm filming the floor because what else am I going to do? Oh yeah, this red dress caught my eye. It was more of like a reddy, orangey colour. Obviously, to get my size, you have to go right to the back, and there's generally only one. Uh, I moved the bag up to the top so I could give it a proper look at. But this dress, how much was it? Was it 22? It was 22 quid, and I just, yeah, I wasn't having it, so I just walked off. But I filmed the floor some more. Then, yeah, filmed the floor some more. I really liked this pattern on these trousers, and I've seen on Poppy's Reel that they've got a dress in this. 18 quid though, which I thought was ridiculous for these trousers. 18 pounds in a, in a blooming supermarket. Um, they're obviously like a brand, um, what's it called? Like a brand crossover, but still annoying. Um, yeah, so what have we got here? Oh, just a bit of randomness. I wanted to see this t-shirt dress thing that was like a fake denim but I didn't like it, so I put it back. Then, oh, we're like in the in the section here. Had a feel of this jumper, nice. 
don't need a jumper. In fact, I don't actually need any clothes. So the fact that I'm even here at all is ridiculous. I don't even know... Oh, no, I was starving, so I came to get some food. But, yeah, like, look at the colours. It's all just a bit drab, right? And, yeah, I see so many people get amazing things in Sainsbury's, but I just never... Oh, hello, what's happening? I just never seem to. So I haven't actually edited this yet. I've just put the voiceover on, and now I'm filming a stool. Excellent. I then decided that even though it's March, I need to try on a hat. So I look around to see. This did not even fit my head. Millennial peace sign. It didn't fit my head. Look around to see if anyone's watching. Try and get a good thumbnail for the video. But this hat was in the way, so I put it properly and shoved it back. Um, oh, look at the pose. Pose. It still looks terrible. So... That went right back on the shelf. Then I think I tried on another hat. Oh, move the camera a bit. This is Sainsbury's Labrook Grove, by the way. I don't know what... Oh, yeah, it was on sale. It looks terrible. Absolutely terrible. See, I shake my head because I'm like, no, this is terrible. And then I hang it back up again. Oh, there's a woman trying to get into a skirt in the background. Sorry, lady. I then went to have a rummage in the sales section. Now, they had a lot of stuff, but it was basically all terrible. This was mad to me because they had a top here, not that one, this one, that was £1, that was originally £15. I didn't buy it because it's not my colour or my shape, and I just didn't get it. But, yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, that was horrible. I liked that jumper, but that wasn't in the sale. And, yeah... I think I just had a bit more of a rummage and came home with nothing. I've come out and it's like night time. I feel like I've been in there like <laughs> half the day. I don't know what I was doing, but I seem to have got a whole bag of stuff. <clears throat> hey, happy Monday. It's Monday. Ooh. done a wash. I thought we'd have a bit of a Monday session like we did last Monday where I just have a chat to you guys about how I'm feeling whilst I put the washing out. How does that sound? <sighs> Hi. How was your weekend? Did you have a good weekend? Obviously if you're watching this when the day it was released this is a Sunday. And yesterday was my Sunday. <laughs> um, I'm feeling okay. I feel like the last time we had this chat, which was maybe I filmed that about four days ago. I'm feeling better. Like I'm, I was PMSy last week, and um, <laughs> in my world that just affects everything because I'm just like I can't. I can't think about what my life was like before I felt this way, aka PMS, and what have I done with my life, I'm da 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 I get so sad, I get all these emotions, as, you know, a lot of people who have periods do, and then my period comes and I'm like, oh yeah, uh, that's why, but, you know, I just want to thank everybody who wrote a lovely comment last week on last week's video saying that my videos help them in certain ways. I really, really appreciate you. I appreciate all of you, but I love hearing your stories and your experiences. Like, for instance, one of you lovely lot said that she needed to... Oh, oh, said that she needed to drive across London um, and she's not used to it. Which, which she had to drive a long way, I will also add. It was, it was, it was a long, long arse drive. Anyway, she wasn't feeling too great about it and then she just thought of my videos of driving. <laughs> I just was, that just makes me feel. You can't imagine how amazing that made me feel. So I'm sorry, I can't remember your name. I literally have just been reading all the lovely comments this morning and I'm full up of love today and it's really nice. It, it just blows my mind and it cements the fact that I do love 
I do love doing this and I do love making the videos. I just need to find, I need to just find, um, I, I need to find also ways to relax. So many of you said that you followed me since the Lose It Like Lauren days, which is mental. Um, so thank you for, yeah, everyone for all of the support. And don't worry, I haven't got any plans on going anywhere. I, um, I'm really grateful for my life and I'm really grateful for the platform that I have here. And I'm not going anywhere, I just need to find, need to find where I fit. It's also, it's also difficult for me because, hi, because YouTube, it, it, it's a correlation between the YouTube numbers and, because last year I was growing a lot and I saw my numbers grow ridiculously and therefore the money goes up because you're growing. And I really felt like I was growing because I was always tidying and I was always, you know, like really struggling. And don't get me wrong, <laughs> I am still massively struggling, but in my head, like my anxiety is bad. I don't even know if I am have depression. I don't know. I've been diagnosed with everything on this channel. Yeah, basically, I just feel like I'm very busy and I just need to find a way that I'm going to move forward with the videos that I that fits me and also fits. I wanna continue growing. I want to, because as much as I love putting my world out there, it makes me money. And I want to make money so that I can afford to buy a house in the future. Um, I spoke a little while ago about the fact that because I've been overweight my whole life, I've never had any goals apart from to lose weight. Um, and that's really sad. I know I say it with quite like, I say it quite quickly because it's a bit of a difficult thing to even sit here and think about, especially when I'm period -y. Um, but I would love to buy a house one day. Uh, I would love to do all these things. Um, and doing my YouTube because gives me that little bit of extra money every month to save and yeah, why wouldn't I try and grow it? But yet, keeping that authenticity is just something that's gonna take me working on what fits everything, not to, and not to, what's the word? I don't want to alter, alter who I am on this channel and who I am as a person. For instance, there, <laughs> I don't wanna sell out and I don't, well, I want to keep my authenticity. I want to keep my re realness. I want to keep myself because that is me and I don't want to change. So don't worry about me going anywhere. Thank you for your love and support. I'm gonna go and hang this up now. Yeah. Thank you as always. I love you lots. Listening to a new audiobook called <laughs> The Christmas Escape by Sarah Morgan because why not? And um, I've just listened to her one Snowed In at Christmas and The Christmas Book Club. They're non offensive, easy listening. So I'm having on the, on the, 
On the topic of easy, I'm having an easy lunch. Caesar salad. And a bagel, maybe? I used the whole of the salad because um, I should have eaten it yesterday. The Sainsbury's Caesar salads are so good. Yummy. Some black cracker, black olive crackers. The olives are, I hope this is okay. It's still in date. I hope it's not fizzy. No, mm. perfect lunch. One of Sorry, I'm holding stuff in my hand. <laughs> I'm putting on an incense. It's the end of the working day and... Oh, okay. Nice. Okay. Let's open the window. It's my phone. It's, I've already got my pyjamas on. Because I am ready for bed. <sighs> Bliss. <laughs> it's not even half six. I started putting my putting my wash in here because it so makes sense to have it like in the there instead of like in the way where I constantly have to move it. <sighs> yes, but what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna have a bit of a relax. I edited for six hours this weekend, so. I'm very tired. Here's your permission that if you want to just get into bed straight after, straight after whatever you've done that day, there's no rules. <laughs> you can get into bed. You can put your pajamas on. And I know you don't need my word or anything like that, but life's. Why is she short to not go to bed early? No. Um, life's too short to not do what you want to do. Uh, and right now, all I want to do is try and, try and make my mind quiet. Because it's very loud at the moment. Um, very loud with a lot of, a lot of things. And I really want to slow myself down this week, make myself relax, have downtime, but not only downtime, like, I think people, well, in, <laughs> let's go on a rant, in this culture we live in, we're so, you know, s strung along by capitalism, we don't give ourselves, we don't have enough time, regarding, get, regardless of giving ourselves it, we don't have enough time to decompress and then relax so I was listening to this on ages ago on the Just Break Up podcast they were talking about what do you do to relax and loads of people on like those people they'd asked were like oh I just put Netflix on and just like forget I exist but like that's don't worry that's absolutely fine if that's what you choose but that there's a difference between decompressing and then choosing something that you would like to do and enjoy and are present for it. So, yeah, I'm decompressing right now. I'm probably going to fall asleep, but I hope that I don't. I hope that I just turn into a completely different person. <laughs> and I've got the last final bits of my dried apple that I might eat. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to my Christmas book and play uh, Block Blast. There's this really addictive game that I love on my phone. Um, it's this one here and it's called Block Blast. And it's basically just Tetris. But it, no, it's it's Tetris. But you, you, this is not sponsored in any way. You like get the, you get them. Oh, and then you like, and then you have to like, uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. what do you have to do? I've completely forgotten my words. You have to, yeah, just try and get your higher score. And I just really like it for just. I mean, it's a little bit addicted. So if you have a di ad addicted personality like me, um, you'll love it. But just listening to my audiobook and playing that game, bliss. <sighs> bliss. I really wanted to go for a swim tonight, but I'm feeling too periody, so I'm not going to go. Um, yeah, and I'm going to make some food a little bit later, but. Yeah. a bit of neighbour watching this morning. <laughs> so back there, the man was pushing the buggy and holding the like shopping bag or something. And then he dropped the shopping bag and there was a woman with him. And he just like went and like left all the shopping all over the floor and just carried on walking with the buggy. And then she was just like crouching down for ages trying to pick it all up. <sighs> People are just fascinating, aren't they, to watch? Well, you're watching me right now, so. <laughs> I wouldn't exactly call myself fascinating in any way. <laughs> oh, the pops reopened. I thought it closed for good. Oh, now that's great that it's reopened. Royal Oak, Carlsden. It had a bit of a facelift. It's now got a blue and white exterior with the old brick. Nice. I don't know if I've ever told this story on the podcast. On the podcast. <laughs> it's because I listen to Off Menu podcast and they always say that I don't know if I've ever told this story on the podcast I don't know if I've ever told this story on my channel I think I must have but I'm going to tell it again because it's just so good um, there is a drive through in Halsden Burger King Burger King drive through It's there's nobody ever there it's never busy I don't know if it's a front who knows? Like when I drive past, there's never cars there. It's not like McDonald's, which is like a constant barrage um, of cars. So when I first moved in, um, I was like, oh, there's that, bar 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 uh, there's that, bur there's that barbecue drive through. There's that Burger King drive through. I'm going to go and get something. So I pull in. Obviously, firstly, Burger King drive-throughs. I don't know what their 
what they're doing but they're they're just not fast ever there's always problems there's always a massive delay so Burger King please just take some lessons from um, McDonald's please anyway um, so I went through and I ordered my whatever I wanted no that's actually a lie I'm skipping so I went round to the drive through but there were a couple of cars in front of me and it already took I'd waited so long that I wanted to reverse, but it was just too late because there was a car behind me and I was stuck. So I was like, okay, I must have been waiting realistically 25 minutes. I'd say a good 25 minutes. So <laughs> I order a milkshake, chocolate. That's part of the story. Chocolate is part of the story. So she says, oh, uh, we don't have milkshakes. I was like, cool, that's normally the script of any drive through ever. We don't have milkshakes, right? So I was like, cool, she went, and then she went, wait, hang on a minute. So she went away and she came back and she went, oh, I can do you vanilla. And I was like, well, that's weird because normally if one's out, they're all out. Okay, cool. So she gave me my vanilla shake, whatever, drove away, finally free of the drive through driving away, put my straw in the vanilla. I suck the straw, nothing comes out. And I was like, but trying again, <laughs> nothing comes out. I open up the lid, look inside. She's given me a large cup of ice cream. <laughs> Just ice cream. That's it. I mean, <laughs> I could see the logic, but like, if she'd have said, do you want a whole cup of ice cream? To be fair, I would have said yes. <laughs> and it was just the most weird thing. So obviously you can't, unless it's really melted, you can't suck ice cream through a straw, right? Well, I couldn't. <laughs> Out of practice. Anyway, no, let's not make that joke. Um, yeah, mad, mad. And whenever I drive through past that drive through, I'm always like, I hope she's still there. I hope she's still giving the one person a week who uses the drive through a uh, cup of ice cream. <laughs> Giant cup of ice cream. <laughs> Fancy a milkshake now. <laughs> oh God, have you seen the Costa? Have you seen the Costa have started doing hot milkshakes? I can't think of anything worse. I'm not picky with food, as you couldn't tell. No, that wasn't that wasn't meant to be a joke, but it was self-deprecating. But it's true, I'm not picky with food, but hot milk, can't do it. The smell of hot milk, just, well, no. If it's hot milk in a coffee, fine. But like hot milk on its own, it smells like sick to me. So the thought of like a hot, Milkshake, no. If you work for Costa, please tell me how they're going down because I don't think they'll be going down very well. In my expert opinion. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, happy morning. Happy morning, apparently. I don't even know what day it is. We have these gorgeous roses. These are my favourite colour roses. Yellow or like this orangey. <laughs> Burnt orangey. Dusty colour. Dusky, dusky. Sunset colour. Gorgeous. I love arranging flowers. Oh, they look gorgeous. Okay. Bum bum bum.
She felt her colour rise. That was five years ago, and there was good reason for my intervention. The reason was that you allowed your own fear of relationships colour your view of someone else's. The word stung. What was friendship if it wasn't being honest when you thought your friend was making a huge mistake? But it had turned out the answer to that question wasn't so simple. I'm sitting here because the ASMR is going to be so good from this rain. And also, I am really struggling with my anxiety today. You may or may not know, I don't even know if I've spoken about this actually. Over Christmas, I went up, I put I up my meds when I wasn't well with my anxiety over Christmas. Um, I spoke to the doctors and they said, you know, up it. So I was on 40 milligrams citalopram, which is the max, <laughs> which was the max. And, um, I just, I just don't want to be on it. And I still feel like I'm very anxious on it. So... I have taken it upon myself this week. Was it this week? Last week as well. To go back down to 20 and just see how I am for a bit. I don't know whether I should have gone 40 some days, 20, 40, 20. I just can't be bothered with that. So I'm not going cold turkey at T Tokyo. I'm not going cold turkey completely off it. But I'm going down to 20 and seeing how we're going. So today was just a bad day. Um... I just feel like I want to cry all the time. Um, and to be honest, I'm sitting here because I'm like, I don't know what I want to do when I go inside. I just went to M&S, as you saw, got some food. I got... Oh, yeah. Um, I got three really random things that do not go together in any way, shape or form. I got the nutty superfood salad. Wait, let me just. I got the nutty superfood salad, two pounds four. I got this because it's got, um, oh, it's got bean dip for her. Um, it's got soy and ginger dressing, which I really like. So that's why I got that. And then I got uh, cheesy hot cross buns. Then I got some duck spring rolls, which are delicious for two pounds for twenty-four. That I can cook in my air fryer. And then I got a Tuscan sausage penne for one ninety-two. My neighbour is parking right in front of me and I'm actually parked outside his house so he's going to get out in a minute and stare at me because I'm sitting here talking to a camera and there he is a bit of a stare at this man um <laughs> says me I'm Oh, he didn't stare. That's probably because he doesn't think I'm sitting in here. Um, well, why would he think I'm... Anyway. Yes, I have my period. Yes, I've mentioned it 5,000 times this video. And yes, things do feel a million times worse during this week. And then next week I'll be like, what were you even worried about? But this is the thing with human emotion. It just feels so all-consuming when you're in it, right? And that's just day-to-day -day stuff. Let alone like massive grief and all these things and tr whatever. Yeah, I can feel it all twinging. <clears throat> I 
when I went to the um, A and E uh, in December, they gave me diazepam. <laughs> he gave me like twelve tablets of it. I haven't taken any because I know how addictive it is and how. Um, yeah, because I used to work in a doctor's surgery. I don't even know if you know that. My first proper job was in a... Do no, it wasn't. My first proper job was in a pet shop. But then I worked in a doctor's surgery and we used to have people coming in, like, desperate for it. Um, There's a one guy faked a doctor's note once and it was just scary because uh, obviously it's just so highly addictive. So I am not going to take it. I wouldn't take it alone anyway because this is the thing when I was really anxious at Christmas why do I keep saying really anxious at Christmas when I was really anxious last time and I was having therapy um my therapist was like you should take some of that diazepam and I was like no <laughs> I was like ironically I'm too nervous to take it so <sighs> maybe I shouldn't have come off the tablets when my period was due but hey, of course I didn't think about that because whoever knows when they're due. <laughs> Even though I do use a tracker app, I just still don't remember. <sighs> but also I have a short cycle. So I think I have like a 24 day cycle. So it feels like when I finished a period, another one comes anyway, which is ridiculous. I wish I could just switch it off because I, by no, well, naturally, I know I could like take certain pills to stop it <clears throat> I'm not about that life it's not for me I can't I can barely deal with deal with my own hormones and emotions let alone pumping myself full of other ones I did it I did it years ago in my 20s in my 20s um but yeah never again it's not for me so I need to go inside I'm probably going to do a meditation or something try and chill myself out a bit I might just get into bed, put on block blast. I don't know how I'm gonna how I don't know how I'm dealing with that Christmas book. It's not very good. They're she's pretending this girl's pretending that she doesn't like this guy. But yet she's like, oh <laughs> it's it, there's predictable and then there's just too predictable. And this is a bit too predictable for me. So anyway, I'm gonna go in now and Get into bed.